Welcome back to Booze in the Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today we are going to use these to make the PPC cocktail. But first, this. All right, let's get into it. But before we do that, this request comes to us from Garrison. He had an idea, why not make a Steiner PPC from the Battletech universe, or maybe a light PPC, see how they taste and see if they're worth making. So here we are, Garrison. The PPC cocktail comes to us from Battletech. Now Battletech is a wargaming and military science fiction franchise that was launched in 1984 by the FASA Corporation. Now and originally this game was called Battle Droids and the name was changed to Battletech in the second edition because George Lucas and Lucasfilm claimed the rights to the term droid. Go figure. Hmm? Now there were multiple editions over the years but in 2000 FASA closed its doors which allowed the IP or intellectual property to be purchased by WizKids in 2001. They were the creators of Magic the Gathering and they decided to retool the game into what they call MechWarrior, which is a click-based system. Now, I was introduced to the game in high school through the Activision video game MechWarrior that came out in 1989. I loved that game. Geez, I wasted a good chunk of my formative years with that game, and I'd play it again now if my computer would even play it, but it won't. Now, I learned the tabletop game through some friends of mine, and I wasted even more time, but it was so worth it because of the friendships that you build with that. And there was even a line of novels for both the games and the RPG, and there was an RPG so you could play the pilot, as well as an animated TV show that was pretty good, and they did a terrible, terrible movie called Robot Jocks. They even created Battletech centers, which were played in fully enclosed cockpits with multiple screens, joysticks, and rudder pedals. It was the full immersive experience, and I want one of those. There are three places to my knowledge where you can still get in those things and play. The Fallout, Center, Fallout Shelter Arcade in Twin Lakes, Minnesota, MechCorp Entertainment in Houston, Texas, and Hangar 51 in Montreal, Quebec. Now, this cocktail is named after a long-range weapon in the game, the PPC. And the PPC is short for Particle Projector Cannon, and it's one of the most powerful long-range weapons. So let's see how these go together. So the first one that we are going to make is the light PPC. All right, and I'm gonna use my mixing glass. And I'm gonna start this with a little bit of ice in here. Okay, and for this, I need one ounce, and we're gonna start with blue carousel, so which is about 30 mils of this uh, liqueur. And now here we get the electric blue color yet again. I love this color. This stuff is reasonably priced. It tastes good as well. And the next thing I need is two ounces or 60 mils of a vodka. And for this, I am using my uh, local Heretic Spirits. Um, and I keep shouting out these guys just because I like their vodka so much. I'm gonna have to go buy some more soon. Okay, and now one of the things I need, well the vodka technically should be a lemon vodka, but because I don't have vodka lemon, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it the barbarian way. And I'm gonna squeeze half a lemon to give us our lemon citrus, right? So we have a little bit of lemon juice in there, which is awesome, that'll give us the lemon for our vodka. Let me grab my hand. Okay, but the other thing that I need is one ounce of a silver tequila. One ounce or 30 mils, and here I'm using the Jose Cuervo Especial, which is uh, a pretty good uh, introductory uh, tequila, if you're not used to those. Okay. And now the next thing I have to do is I have to shake the crap out of this. And we're gonna shake this for 10, 12 seconds. So we're gonna use a rocks glass. 
with a nice sized chunk of ice in there. And we're going to strain this using my Hawthorne strainer. Okay. But that's not all we're gonna do. So we've got this great, beautiful blue cocktail, all right? But we need a little bit of 7-Up or Sprite just to top this up. And I have a small can of Sprite here in my fully stocked bar, or partially stocked bar at least. And you know what? Garrison asked about Steiner. He's a huge Steiner fan. And their family colors are blue and yellow and white. So I don't have any white here, but what I can do is I can give us a lemon wheel that never mind is just gonna fall directly inside. Let's try this again, shall we? And I'm doing this directly in, uh, in camera so I can't mess this up, I can't hide my error. Let's try this again, because this is awesome. And here we have the light PPC, but let me just wipe this down a little bit. Put this right here. Now the next one we're going to do is we're going to do the full PPC. And for that, I need a full mixing glass. And this drink, I'm a little leery of because the ingredients don't seem to be anything particularly special except for the first ingredient, which is, of course, four ounces or 30 milliliters, or four ounces or 30 mils, four ounces or 120 millimeters, milliliters of an Everclear. Now, we can't get Everclear where I live, but what we can get is uh, uh, Spiritus Gdanskis. This is a 75% alcohol grain vodka. So when we say four ounces, this becomes a, uh, a drink that uh, could do quite a fair amount of damage. You drink a couple of these and you'll be on the floor if, if you're not on your way to the hospital and uh, uh, having some issues, I can tell you that right now. Um, the other thing we need is two ounces of a peppermint schnapps. And you know what? It smells good. I'm a little leery, but of course we like house colors. So I'm gonna use two drops. One, two, oops, that was three, of a blue food coloring to give us that color that we're looking for. Give that a bit of a stir. We're already partly there. And we're gonna shake this again And they actually look so similar, it's not funny, just based on this. And just to differentiate them, because you don't want to get confused, I am going to use You know what? You're right. I want a nice cube for this. Beautiful. And we'll strain this. And we have the full PPC in all its electric blueness. So here we have the PPC light, and the full PPC. Let's try them out, see how they taste. i just take this out here for a second. Give this a bit of a sniff. Smells good. Uh, you get a little bit of the blue curacao, a little bit of the lemon. That's, this one's actually pretty good. I can drink this. Once you start drinking it, you get a little bit of the tequila taste, which you don't smell initially. 
right? You don't taste the vodka at all. The blue carousel kind of mutes it slightly in the lemon as well. Mm. Very good. And now the one that worries me. I smell the peppermint snaps really well. That's not bad. It doesn't taste totally horrendous. You can feel a little bit of burn in the back of my mouth. But the uh, peppermint snaps hides it. Now, if you're going to make these, you have different types of secondary alcohols that you can use based on your house type. I'll put those in the description down below if you ever want to try them. I do advocate caution though, because this is a 76% alcohol. You do dilute it a little bit when you shake it, but not a whole heck of a lot. Mm. I think I prefer the light PPC, but you know what? They're both pretty good. This one is strong, a few of those, and you'll be hitting the floor just like your mech after it's lost its leg, okay? So I'll put the uh, ingredients for both of these down below in the description. If this is your first time here, please like and hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I place a new video, you will be notified. But if you didn't like this video, you didn't find it entertaining, comical, or informative, hit the thumbs down button twice. And we'll see you next time.